Hey guys, it is James Henry II here, and today's video is going to be something that I filmed already, but I did not like the first version of it, so I completely scratched that from the beginning. Um, and so this is going to be me again, talking about my Taylor Swift Reputation Stadium Tour experience. Because, if you haven't guessed from the thumbnail already, I met Taylor Swift. Okay, so to start things off, I just want to say um, a big thank you to Taylor and Taylor Nation because you guys made my night probably one of the best nights of my entire life. I seriously cannot remember ever crying that much from happiness ever in my life. And it doesn't... It's like very rare for me to cry that much from happiness. So what I'm going to be talking about is basically a shortened, a very more shortened condensed version of my tour experience, like when I got there, um, what I wore, and basically everything up until the point of leaving the rep room. Yes, leaving the rep room. All right, so here we go. Okay, so my boyfriend and I get to the concert and we have to park really far away because one, we didn't want to pay like 50 bucks, 40 bucks for parking in the actual venue. So we were like, um, no, let's go find somewhere else we can park. But then of course, when we do find other parking, they're the same exact prices. Same prices, it's ridiculous. So we ended up going to this one part of town. It's relatively close to the theater, to the theater. <laughs> close to the stadium so we go there we walk a little bit it's like really hot but it actually feels good because as we get onto the bridge it's very windy so it's like yes and um for a real quick like jump in this is what i wore to the concert because it was well i'll explain it okay okay so this is the jacket i wore it's a little bit hard to see on this side and you can still see um what it's going to be doing right now um but I wore this because I was like, it's an outside venue, I'm going to be in the sun for a little bit because my row was in the very last, it was a very last row, it was an aisle seat, so there was like the aisle here, and I was at this little corner here, and I was like, I'm going to be in the very last row, like right in the middle where I can see the stage, I'm going to be trying to stand out like crazy because one, I just want people to see me having the time of my life at a Taylor Swift concert, just like I did for the 1989 World Tour. So I wore this, and as you can see just right now, it's not even sunny, but it was very reflecting, so of course when you see it out you can see me filming in the hand <laughs> so when you can see this in the sun it's very awesome and yes I'm wearing a Lady Gaga shirt um, but my favorite thing about this is that it's a reverse sequence so like you can do this and it becomes black and I got this one specifically because green you know green like snake it looks like snake skin it's very shiny it's very reminiscent of the 1989 world's tour jacket that she wore when she opened the show and during some other parts of the show uh, they were just different colors. And then, of course, because it goes to black, it's very, like, the dark, the darker version of 1989, the dark version of Taylor Swift, a.k.a. the Reputation Era. You're gonna, I'm gonna insert clips um, every now and then in this video. So, um, the first one is me dancing to Charlie XCX, and then there's a song that she, um, that they played in the arena that I wanted her to sing in the set, but she didn't. But, um, here's... And here's me dancing to Camila Cabello, just like almost crying my eyes out because her song um, In the Dark is one of my favorite songs of hers. It is my favorite song of hers because it's it reminds me so much of Lady Gaga's um, Dance in the Dark because it's like who... Who are you when the lights go out? Are you comfortable with your body? Are you comfortable with being with your partner in the dark? It's it's very, very emotional um, if you really, really sit down and listen to the lyrics and listen to the song like it should be. Okay, 
So anyway, um, I, I know it's not really my story to say, but I have to say it because it kind of makes sense for the rest of the entire night. So unfortunately, my boyfriend got terrible anxiety because of being in the middle, like literally directly in the middle of this huge bowl in his stadium. It was very high, and so he got really bad anxiety. So unfortunately, he had to leave, and I wanted to leave with him, but he said, no, stay, 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 stay. Ah! So I stayed. Um, I was really worried about him the entire night. I really wanted him there. So um, he left during Charlie's set, um, like right after she ended. So because he loves her, he's a huge Charlie XCX fan. So Charlie, if you're watching this, follow him. I'll leave his information down below. So anyway, we're um, he leaves and then Camilla comes on and I haven't moved my seat at all. I was so thirsty. I was dying because it was hot. I didn't have any water with me because you know they charge like an arm and a leg for them so I'm dying of thirst and then the minute Charlie ends I'm like okay just breathe and don't like try to dehydrate yourself even more so I'm just sitting there and everyone's like touching my jacket they're like oh my god I love your jacket so much and so they're like everyone's just like loving my outfit even the people that work there they're like you're gonna have so much fun and oh they were like the best they were so sweet and they were just like the best people to be like around so the minute Camilla ends I'm like gotta go bye bitch so I run to the concessions and I like I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and I actually end up meeting this girl and she's like I think I saw your outfit on Twitter and I was like I think I saw your outfit on Twitter so we were talking for a little bit she was wearing um, this like really cute like Queen of Hearts kind of deal with like her cards and everything and um, foreshadowing what happens later so we we both we both get like tons of water and we go back to our seats go back down to the floor and the minute I do I'm just like chugging my water not chugging but like sipping it but enough to like you know keep me hydrated and then I get a tap on the shoulder and I turn around and it's this guy that I, I've seen him walking around earlier he has like a tailor badge and everything so I was like oh he's probably like the crew um, I don't know just whatever um, and he asked me are you alone and I said yes like in my head I was like don't like make fun of me if I'm alone on the floor stop it um, and so he's like I was like yes and he's like do you want to get upgraded to the pit and I was like like sponge guard like Of course, I said yes. So he puts the wristband on me, and um, I'll show you the wristbands right now, but they're kind of in a, in a spot where I'm going to have to show you all of them at the end. Um, so I get the wristband, and I grab all of my things. I felt bad because I, like, talked to some people around me, and I didn't even say bye to them. I just ran because, first off, the concert was starting. I knew, like, it was, like, getting almost getting to the point where... Um, bad reputation was gonna play so I run and I was like I have no idea where I'm going I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get into the pit because you know I was in my original seat um, so I make my way to the pit and everyone's already been in the pit forever you know it's general admission standing so I'm standing there and I, I meet these two girls and I'm like I don't know where to go so I'm gonna awkwardly be standing here so please if I like I, I don't know if I'm awkward and weird I apologize now and they're like no 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 you're fine and then so I actually end up talking to these two other girls they have these really cute like crown like glowing crowns and um, they're like oh my god we just got upgraded to the pit too we're um, the right pit so like if the stage is if I'm the stage if I'm Taylor I was over here I'm like talking to all these girls, all these people around me. They're like, oh my god, like congratulations for getting upgraded. That's so awesome. So of course I'm freaking out. I'm like on Instagram, like, oh my god, I got upgraded to the pit. I don't know what to do. It's so big. I didn't really think I was gonna ever be this close to Taylor in the stage. I got upgraded to the pit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot, I cannot handle this. Oh my god. So, um, yeah, so I was like, I have a bag, and I don't want to set it down. There's no place to set it down. And so the girl was like, oh, I just tied it around my, my pants. And so I was like, ah. And so I was, like, shaking the entire time because I just got upgraded to the pit. So I couldn't do that. So luckily, I had two necklaces on, um, which you, you'll see in these pictures. Um, I had two necklaces on, so I just tied one, um, basically, like, a huge chain necklace. And it was just hanging the entire concert. So that sucked. So bad reputation starts. And I'm freaking out because I'm like, I know this is the song that's going to start it. So I freak out and then the lights go out and I'm like, oh my God, 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 oh my God. The thing starts. The video starts. And then it's like, baby, let the games begin. And I start crying. I start crying so bad. So, so bad because I was so excited. I was like, I'm going to be hearing myself weeping. I was sobbing like I fucking lost my, my little baby. And I don't even have a baby. Um, I was crying that bad. So, um, here's a video of the this, this concert starting.
I'm just crying the entire time because I was like, oh my god, it was right there. Um, so yeah, that was really awesome. And then just the entire show was so amazing. Um, it was really funny because a lot of us were like, why is she going over to the, um, the, the left snake pit more than the right snake pit? Which she really was. Um, so anyway, the show is going on and then um, I end up dancing with this one girl. Um, which you can see here, here's a picture of us at the end of the show. We were like, we have to get a picture together, you're awesome. So, we're dancing together for the entire show. Her friend's filming us because she's like, oh my god, you two know like, all the words to the songs. Um, and so it was, ugh, it was so fun dancing with her. And then, um, here's a video of me, I think it was during King of My Heart. Um, this is literally the one time in my life where I was like, this is the only picture and video proof of me and Taylor being in like the same enclosed space. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, so here it is. The pit. The one thing I will say that sucked about the pit is it was so hard to see. So when she was doing delicate, she's on the other side of the stage. So we're just like, is anyone alive out there? And then, of course, when she's on the B stages, the stage um, during the snake for the snake pit is like starts off like like here, so you can see her, and then it goes progressively up more and more and more up to the main stage. So, of course, when you're no matter what angle you are, you can ne you can't see the B stages from the the snake pits on the sides. Um, so it's really hard to see. So we were just watching the big screens, and during that, that's when me and that girl were dancing like crazy. And then um, she comes back, and then. She does the mashup with Bad Blood and should have said no. And her and I freak out. She goes over and then... It's the point of the show where she's singing New Year's Day and um, Long Live, the mashup. And unfortunately, I did not at all get a video recording of that song or those songs. And I wish I did because one, um, New Year's Day is a song that I always like say it reminds me of like me and my boyfriend. Like I want that love to be with us for the rest of our lives and like my friend Sydney who I'm shouting out right now Sydney because I didn't last video she okay so when the album came out I'm, I'm not kidding you it was like a month after it came out she was doing these like giveaways on Twitter where she's like I'm gonna paint lyrics and I'm gonna send them to you guys so I requested I was like can you please send me a picture like that you make that says I want your midnights because that's like if I made it, I made already like in my other video, I made a lyric video of like my favorite lyrics and all this stuff, and like that was one of my favorite lyrics in that song. And so, if you can see, it's right there. I still have it up. It's the only picture on my Taylor wall that I have up that someone else made that wasn't like from a promo or anything. And so I called I called Sydney my good luck charm because that was the song. I was crying like crazy. I didn't. I couldn't film because I was crying so bad. I just. I wanted my boyfriend there. I just wanted him right next to me so I can hold on to him and sing with him, sing to him, just like kiss him, anything. But he wasn't there, so I was like a mess. I was crying. And then during the song, the song, the song's still going. It like just started when I was like already crying. I was a mess. Um, and then this woman like taps me on the shoulder, and um, I'm like, <laughs> yes. And she's like, I really like your snake earring. Which I had an awesome snake earring. Um, I think I can find it right here. It was so cool. Here it is. So, it's this little snake earring. Um, it, like, wraps around my ear like this. And, like, the bottom of the snake, the snake tail, goes, like, on the back of your earring. And it's so awesome. Um, so, she was like, hey, I really like your snake earring. I was like, thank you so much. I'm sorry for crying. I wish my boyfriend was here. And this song is very emotional to me. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's so sweet. And then she's like, just like, you know, like, mm -hmm. Standing there just like it was really awkward, but I was like, hi, I was like, are you enjoying the show? She's like, yes, and then she's like, have you, are you a big, big Taylor Swift fan? And I was like, <laughs> how could you tell? But I was like, yes, I am. And then she's like, have you ever met her? I was like, no, I would love to meet her though. That'd be so awesome. She's like, would you? I was like, yes, because like, you know, obviously I'm crying at a Taylor Swift concert. I'm a man crying at a Taylor Swift concert. I like her. So she's like, would you want to meet her? I was like. Oh my god, is this what is this what I think is happening? And then I looked at her. I was like, she doesn't have a bracelet on that lights up. 
I think she's from Taylor Nation. And of course, she is. So she whips out, she like opens her little side purse, which is super cute, and she's like, all right, just try not to like, I don't, I'm not trying to say, don't trying to make it a big deal, but that's basically what she said, because she didn't want everybody around us to like, be like, oh my God, you're from Taylor Nation, get me to the rep room. And these two girls were in front of me when it was happening, and I just saw them going like this. They were like, and so I was like, oh my god, this is not happening, this is not happening, this is not happening. And then she whips out the little blue card that says, you, your blah 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 party has been invited to the rep room. And she gives me the bracelet, and she's like, try to hide it during the rest of the show. Which was almost at the end of the show, because it's like for, it was like the 16th song on the set. And so I was like, can I please give you a hug? And she's like, of course. So I hug her, and then I start crying, like, even more. Like, even worse than I was, like, when the show started. I was sobbing, like, I just, like, again, like, I just lost a baby. And so, um... She's like, she's like, enjoy the rest of the show, and she like walks off, and then I'm like, oh my god, and then the two girls that were watching me, they were like, oh my god, congratulations, and I was like, I'm so happy, and they were like, you deserved it so much, and then um, they hugged me, and I cried again even freaking more, because <laughs> I'm so emotional, I get so emotional, baby. Anyway, so <laughs> so the rest of the show's happening. Getaway Car happens right after that sh that song. So I was like, this is my shit. This is my jam. So I sing my heart out to that. And I'm like having the time of my life because I'm like, I'm going to see Taylor Getaway Car. Oh, oh. And then um, the rest of the songs happen. And then I get like the entire video of her singing. This is why we can't have nice things, which is so fun to be listening to live. And but the only thing that sucked about it again, I will say the one thing that was bad about this was that the screens were so big that from the pit I wasn't able to see any of the fireworks or the flames go off the entire show. And then um, the show ends, and I'm like sitting there, I'm like, what do I do? Like I'm, at, oh, I'm gonna meet Taylor Swift right now. So um, as everyone's leaving the snake pit, I'm just kind of like sitting there. I was like, I need to sit down. I gotta like text my boyfriend. I gotta tell everybody on Twitter. Oh my god, like this is happening. Which this is the most iconic picture I've ever taken in my life. Right here is when I post it that I'm meeting Taylor Swift. Ba boom. So I'm standing at the edge of the snake pit, and everyone's leaving. And then this woman, like in her like group, walks up to me, and they were like, "Can we just say?" We saw you the entire show, and you made us so happy because you were just living your life and dancing and singing your heart out to every single song, and you are another reason that our night was made. And I was like, I am so touched. I cannot believe this is happening. And then so as I'm sitting, I have to sit down because I was like, I need to fucking like somehow put this bracelet on so that I don't like, you know, lose it or someone takes it from me. So I'm like shaking. I was like, I can't do this by myself, but I'm going to do it. And then so I stand up and like the ending of the show video is playing for with So It Goes. And then this girl comes up to me. She's like, oh my God, I love your jacket. Because like they apparently saw me during the show. And this is gonna be a really long video. <laughs> so um, they see me doing the show, and then like they take pictures with me, which is really weird because like I don't even know, what, like I've never seen them after, but like I like the pictures. So like her and her like her husband, like and five people like took pictures with me, and they're like, oh my god, bye. And then so like um, so I put my bracelet on the wristband, and then I go to the section, and I'm talking to all these other people, and um, then we sit down, and I sit down next to the girl I was in with at the waterline and I was like oh my god congratulations <laughs> and she was like oh my god look at us we both were like ah, talking to each other about it on Twitter I mean in line about how we met on Twitter and we both followed each other and um we sat next to each other in the rep room like waiting section so that was really awesome so then we are all sitting there and every we have to wait for everybody to leave the arena it was insanely long but I was like sad because I just wanted to see all those thousands of people leaving but hey I can't complain right now. So we're sitting there, and um, we get our we get our little iPad thingy to put our information in, and then they're like, "Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to meet Taylor Swift?" And we're like screaming, "Yes!" So we we get escorted to this little section, which is like if you're from the if you were on the floor, that's where you came in from. And I was like wondering when when we first walked into the arena, I was like, "Oh look, there's like a curtain there. That's where the freaking rep room was." So I was like, "Oh my god!" So um, I see the little entrance, and I was like, "Oh my god!" There. 
And so I'm freaking out, like, really bad. I'm like, <laughs> my heart, I'm going to have, like, anxiety. Um, and so there's, like, 17 boxes of pizza. I didn't have any because I was like, I don't want anything in my teeth. I don't want to look, like, nasty. But then the one thing I do regret, I always seriously regret, is I didn't get a napkin and, like, wipe my face because I was so sweaty and so oily from the entire show that my Taylor picture looks like I'm just like, I'm such a mess. It was so nasty. But anyway... So, um, I meet these two other girls, and, like, they take my Polaroid picture, which, um, here's one of them. There's, like, Polaroids there, so here's one picture where I'm sitting on Taylor's couch holding the pillow of her eye. Um, I took another picture where, oh, on my phone, of me on the actual throne from the music video. Um, they say that there's just a bunch of replicas, but the one in the rep room is the real one. So I was like, ah, I'm here. Um, so I get a water bottle, and I still have it. I haven't even drank the rest of it since. It's, like, somewhere in my room, because uh, I don't want to drink it, because like, this is the rep room water. Um, like, it's freaking Jesus holy water. But anyway, so um, I'm sitting there, and then Andrea Swift comes out, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's her mom. <laughs> that's, like, her mom. And so um, Taylor comes out for, like, two seconds saying, oh, my God, you guys, and we're, like, all, like, freaking out, because we're like, that, that's Taylor. So she comes out and she's like, I can't wait to take pictures with you guys. We're going to do it in this little area over here. And we're going to have like a one-on-one. -on -one. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, it's going to happen. So um, I waited for like at least like six people to go before me. And um, so I'm, I was like waiting in line to talk to Andrea Swift. And so we talk and she's like, I love your earring. And I was like, oh my God. And then the girl that got me into the rep room was going to take our Polaroid. And she, she's like, that's the main reason that I chose him because I saw his earring from like where we were, which we were right next to where Taylor Nation was. Like, it was like, here's a pit. And then like over here was like where Taylor Nation was like backstage. So she's like, that's why I picked him is because of his earring. And then she's like, I love your, your jacket. I was like, thank you so much. And like, I told her happy early, um, happy early Mother's Day because it was the next day. Um, I told her her family was so beautiful. And thank you for like having all of us be invited here. It was like such an honor to be there. And she was like, oh my God, you're so sweet. So we took a picture. Um, and because here is my like shadow box of my Taylor Knight. So I'm waiting. So like the place that I originally like get like my pictures done is not working. So I have to wait for this little area to be filled with my picture of Taylor. Yes. Here's my picture of me and Andrea. Um, it says, hold on to the memories. They will hold on to you. Um, there's the rep room pass. And then there's the only pieces of confetti that I was able to obtain from this entire night. There's the patch that I bought. There's the picture, the little card that they give you so that you can get your picture online. And there's the three wristbands that I got. There's the floor ticket, which is um, the white with the stars, the snake pit, and then the reputation meet and greet. It was so awesome. And then I ended up getting a, a canvas print of it. Here is my picture with Taylor. Hey, Gaga, but <laughs> I'll move it. There's my picture with Taylor. And I talked to her about my boyfriend, that's why I'm holding up a picture of him, and she called him handsome, and we talked a lot about just everything. We talked about so much stuff, about how we love Little Mix, how I was so happy to be there for the Reputation Tour, and coming back from the 1989 World Tour. Guys, I just met Taylor Swift, and I... I freaked out. I way, I way over-talked more than I should have, um, but I showed her she loved my earring she loved my jacket she said it was very nostalgic and i told her i was here for 1989 and she said little mix is like a girl in power group like power girls like go them and she's beautiful i didn't eat because i was too nervous i met her mom they're beautiful people i'm i'm on cloud nine right now it was and such a surreal night for me it was I cried way, way too much, more than I ever thought I could ever in an entire night. So, um, I just loved every moment of it, and I sometimes feel like that never really happened. Like, I really feel like it wasn't real, because I, I have it on my desk at work, the picture of us, like, like the, the stages of me dying that night, like, me sitting in the back, getting upgraded to the pit, and then getting the rep room, and then have, having my picture with Taylor. I feel like it never happened, but it did. Um, and so, because of that, um, like, so many people followed me on Twitter, and I just never thought that I would ever get that much attention from, like, anybody on Twitter, because it's always just been, like, a stupid outlet for me, but I, I really appreciate every single person that followed me on there, and, like, I got so many people that followed me that I never got notifications for everybody, so every now and then I, I'd, like, see that people follow me, and so I follow them back right away, 
and I try to help them. Like, I know that I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal of me being like, oh, I met Taylor, I can, like, get you into the rep room now. I can't, I don't have that power. But if I have any chance of helping you get noticed by Taylor Nation, by re mainly retweeting, retweeting gets it to more people that you don't, that they don't follow. And it's just helping people get retweeted and noticed and everything. I just want them to try to get that experience as well because I feel like the luckiest person in the entire world for getting that opportunity and I will never ever 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 <laughs> um, exchange it for anything or trade it in for anything. Um, I am so so happy with how that entire concert turned out. Uh, I'm so proud of Taylor. I'm so happy that she's just happy. That's what I talked to her about. I told her I'm so happy that you're happy. Like just live your life girl. <laughs> it's like don't let anybody tell you but like you're happy. So um I just, I loved it, and that was my entire experience, and I cried a lot, <laughs> and I probably, my next goal is to meet this girl right here. It's going to be very difficult for that to happen, but hey, I never thought I would ever meet Taylor. I never thought I would ever be that close to seeing her on tour right there in, in the pit. So anything can happen, people, so really just don't stop believing in yourself. I almost said, like, don't no, stop. Don't stop believing in your dreams and everything that you want to, like, you know, stand for in life. Just achieve your goals. Don't, don't doubt your, don't ever doubt yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. It's been so long since I've uploaded a video like this and it's, I've just been in a rut, like mentally, creatively, and more so I've just been so busy with life, school, work, theater, um, and I'll talk about that in another video. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, please subscribe down there. And if you want to be notified when I get a, like a video uploaded, which is very rare, um, but because of its rarity, um, it'll be awesome when you be like, oh my god, he uploaded a video. Just click that bell right there. It's awesome. It's fun. A little thing. Um, and also, if you want to, and if you haven't, follow me on my all social media accounts down there. Um, it'd be very greatly appreciated. And we can just make friends on there. Like, I made friends at the Taylor concert. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!